Thank you so much for tuning in to the Claude High Priestess. This collective reading will be for my Leos. Hey, what's up, Leos? Um, I get time to say a quick prayer. I've already, you know, pre shuffled out a few cards out and bless my reading. Say a quick prayer over the reading. I'll give you a little time. All right, amen. Okay, let's just hop right into it. Leo, I got two songs for you. Okay, the first was Love Scars, all right? And the second was Let Me In. I'm feeling like, you know, you could have been through past relationships and situations that weren't so good, all right? You had a hard time. You're basically scarred jaded or whatever that is someone is wanting you to trust them or you're wanting someone to trust you you know let me in what do, you know if you don't want to let me in what are we doing this for type of things and i just feel like leo you got your guard up high like the great wall of china all right so that's really what i'm picking up for this july 2021 reading for you leo okay so if that definitely resonates with you you are gonna want to stay tuned in okay so let's just hop right into the cards you got angela strength needing to have strength courage you know bravery to do something that came out with mirror garden now i just did what's that taurus reading and they got a few of the same cards as you. And I swear, oh God, I shuffled the heck out of these cards. I did, I did, I did. So you and Leo could, is really in the same type of energy, all right? I mean, you and Taurus, I'm sorry. In the same energy for the most part. All right, so anyway, with Angel Strength came out with the mirror guard and meaning um, you need to take time to reflect, you know, have the courage and strength to, you know, look at how far you've come, realizing that everyone isn't the same, how far basically, possibly, you know, a relationship does not have to be, you know, romantic. It can be, it can be a work relationship and you feel like you know, you always had shit jobs and you end up with the short end of the stick. So it's really going to need be a need for you to, you know, look back on things, how far you've come, how far you know, how things could possibly be different this time around. All right, that came with the guard and the gate. Basically meaning there's some type of happiness on the other side of this gate that you are skeptical of walking into Leo, all right? Go hand to hand with the songs. You got love scores and you basically got a wall up and you don't know whether you want to walk towards this happiness or not that came out with the high priestess card taurus also got this one all right uh basically man and you need to focus on the positive use your intuition um with this high priestess card lift the veil um focus focus on the positive take time to reflect look at all the things that the good things, not necessarily focusing on the bad and all the bad things that ha that's happened in past situations. Don't let the past hold you back from happiness. Do not. Because it's seeming like it's some type of happiness on the other end of this gate. Like it's a beautiful, lush garden. And why would you be scared to walk to that? Because of your past? Child, please. All right, so it's going to be a need for you to focus on the positive in situations. Anxiety came out. Speaking of nervousness, anxiety about all things. Like when reading the card, it's describing she's anxious about a storm that's already passed. And she in her head crying like dying. But it's saying, honor your own inner knowing. Let me pull up. Medicine mother, where is she at? Okay, because it's saying you need to do what you need to do, take action. There's an old pattern rising up, and it's time to deal with it and release it for good. Okay, 
you thinking about old stuff and it's time to actually face yourself. Face your feelings. Reflect on things that happen and let it go, Leo. Let it go. It's time to let it go. Face your fears. Honor your inner knowing. You know you're tripping for no reason. You know that whether it's, it's a job or a partner or something, I don't know what it is. But you know it's not the same. But you basically are letting the past hold you back is what it's seeming like. So it's going to be a need to heal, basically. But we are going to get some cards out just to clarify it really quickly. Uh-huh. <laughs> I swear I shuffled the hell out of these cards. Okay. <laughs> Ten of Swords came out basically feeling just defeated. Like, you don't want to do it anymore. Um... And the two of swords came out basically meaning the same thing as the mirror garden. You need to look back, like, stop feeling like this. Stop feeling defeated like you don't want to do, like you'd have had too much hurt. You just can't go on anymore. You need to take the strength to actually look at things. Take, it's, if you got to take a step back and get things into perspective, do so, but it's going to be a need for you to actually look in the mirror and look at things for what they really are. Okay? Look at how you could be negatively impacting a situation with negative thoughts. The garden and gate and high priestess. Mm. Dad. So, um, what is the oldest one? Because, oh I'm sorry, y'all. It's the ghetto for me. Let me see what the oldest one is talking about in this. I know it's speaking of stories, but. Yeah, learning from past experiences is what this is speaking about. Um,. The Five of Cups, regretting things that happen, like, really in a bad place, looking at all things that happen. Yeah, it's going to be a need for you to move past that. The High Priestess came out again. Remove that veil, like, lift that veil up because you're looking at old uh, fucking veil. You're looking at old things. Bring the past situations that you really haven't learned your lesson from. Like, this could be a pattern with you really messing up things because you feel like it's going to all be the same. Really, like, this happened. I fumbled this ball right here. And, oh, my God, I feel so bad about it. Or this person fumbled this ball and everybody's going to do it. But you need to move past that, uh, Leo. Or it could be someone in regards to you that's not letting you in. This is a collective read, so, you know, the energy is general. You know, take it how it resonates, all right? Medicine, mother, and anxiety. Um, what, just, what just flipped? So, six of swords, feeling like people are after you or feeling attacked or someone else is feeling attacked. Yeah, you feel an attack like somebody is after you. And it you need to sit back and look at things. Take things in, into perspective. Actually gain the truth. Use your discernment. Because you you know. You know deep down within that things are not how you're portraying them to be. So like I said earlier, take a step back if you have to and actually sit back and discern. Actually look at the facts and the situation. Because this person could treat you wonderfully. And you so used to, you know, or this company, whatever this is, could treat you beautifully. And you just looking at things that happened in the past. is what it's seeming like. So, Leo, there's going to be a need for you to get out of your own way. Basically, let's get a few um, cards here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Yeah, with this page of swords, it just seems like you are really in the clouds. Your head is in the clouds. Um, you need to ground yourself and get back down to earth. And what's really going on? You are really in your head, Leo. And that could be creating some type of tower moment. Like you or you could be ruining things. Or are you too focused about some type of tower moment that happened? Too in your head about something, oh, that's already crumbled. Or it, something could be crumbling by you being in your head too much. Living in the clouds. Bring it back down to real life now. What's actually happening around you? Look at the cohort facts. Look at the truth. Use your discernment. <laughs> a Capricorn bell could be significant to the situation with this devil card or you having toxic negative thoughts like um in regards to this king of pentacles could be a father, a husband, a working husband. You you have a negative thoughts. But it's going to be a need for you to really use your intuition. Bring it on back down to life. And when you do... When you do, because it seems like you are dealing with an emperor or could be an empress. Um, it, it, this reading is not gender specific. You know, I just say him or her, but it could be, you know, vice versa. You are dealing with somebody that's really that is what it seems like. And when you bring yourself back down to earth and actually look at things, this this is going to be great. This is bringing you wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups here. Everything you ever wanted is what it's sounding like, but you need to get out of your own way first. Leo, get out of your own way. Don't be like, oh. Or this could be, you know, a past person that, you know, you are, you know, forgiven and they could have possibly changed. They changed. They changed. A new start is coming. But, like I said, with this full moon and Leo card, don't let pride get in your way of this new beginning, this new start, this new job, this new relationship, whatever it is for you, Leo. All right? Your hard work is paying off. Once you actually do the work, grind yourself, look at things, that is going to be beneficial to whatever this is. All right? Thank you so much. If it resonated for you, Leo, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new content. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Leo, love you. Bye.